A few weeks back, we introduced the new Odo add binding command to connect an application with a service. This demo shows a UI update that we did based on the feedback that we received. Here, I have Odo built from an old branch. We'll first run the old command and then the new one to see the difference. Uh, here, I have a Node.js application running and a cluster instance called cluster sample uh, running on my cluster. We'll run the Odo add binding command to bind this Node.js application with the cluster sample service. Let's select the service. We'll go with the default name. Uh, so this question, uh, bind as files, was confusing and it was unclear. Uh, we've made some UI updates to that. Let's uh, select the default option for now and we'll see the changes soon enough. So the binding was successfully added. Next, let's move on to our master branch and build Odo with the latest updates. In this directory, I also have a Node.js application running and we'll run the odo add binding command to bind this application with our cluster sample service. Our application is built. I'll quickly run odo version to confirm the new version. We see that it has moved on to alpha 3. Now let's run the odo add binding command. Uh, select the cluster sample service, use the default name. So here we see that it asks us, how do you want to bind the service? Now we can either bind it as a file or as an environment variable. Let's bind it as files for now. And the service was bound successfully to our application. We hope that this new update is helpful and clears the much confusion that people had. That's it for today. Thank you.